Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. I've been streaming uh, on KOAM with some of these thunderstorms that have been rotating through, but I also need to uh, do a savants video. Kind of, we're going to look a little bit long range. We're going to talk about some of these storms and see where the big severe weather is going to be for us today. But it, look at this storm. So we got snow across northern parts of Kansas, and then. Um, Geez, uh, down through Texas, we're getting all kinds of severe weather. We've had the cluster that has rotated through the forest state area as well over the past, uh, oh, couple hours. But you can see this band, which continues to lift north and east and also continues to develop over the past uh, 30 minutes to an hour. In fact, let me stop this. Oh, let's go back here. All right, let me zoom in. So uh, this storm that has a severe thunderstorm warning, so in western parts of Barton County, it pushed right through Ottawa County, and it's mainly been severe because of hail. It's had uh, kind of nickel-sized hail, but it did have golf ball-sized hail uh, in northern parts of Ottawa County. So we're looking at Miami, Commerce, Dequapaw. Uh, those are the areas that have gotten the kind of bigger hail, the golf ball size hail. So this is where I get to put in a big shout out to my boys, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're already on the scene. Uh, they deal with all types of insurances, but they're on top of it right now. So if you did get hail in Miami Commerce or Quapaw, give those boys a call and they will hook you up. But these storms are gonna continue to push off toward the north and to the east. Uh, we're gonna just have periods of showers and thunderstorms as we go through the day. Now, let's look down farther south. Here's where the big severe weather is gonna be. So this is gonna be south of Oklahoma City, Lawton, Wichita Falls, and all this is gonna push into southeastern parts of Oklahoma. So let's go through time, then we're gonna do a little bit of long range forecasting. All right, so you can see the cluster in central Missouri. So this is 4 p.m., but look at the storms really getting going southeastern parts of Oklahoma. These are gonna push right back into the Joplin Metro, Springfield, Northwest Arkansas is just gonna get hammered with heavy, heavy amounts of rain as we go through the afternoon into the evening hours. All right, heavy amounts of rain continue southern parts of Missouri into Northwest Arkansas as we go through the evening hours. And then the backside of this system starts to develop. So you can see how it flares up uh, eastern parts of Oklahoma. This is gonna create the calm ahead or the colder side of the system. Now you can see 5.30 in the morning, rain is in Kansas City, east of Wichita, Tulsa, down toward Fort Smith. So you can, we call this a comma head because it literally looks like a comma. Uh, so heavy rains on the backside. There may be a flake or two of snow uh, mixing in. Not a huge deal. This storm system, if it would attract just 50 or 75 miles farther north, it would have tapped into colder air and we would have gotten uh, a little bit of snow mixing in. But this is mainly going to be rain and as this continues to push through. So let's go through time. Rain continues to push east through the morning hours tomorrow. Heaviest rain kind of St. Louis into parts of Illinois and Indiana as we go through the morning hours. And then we look pretty good. There is one little weak wave that pushes in on Saturday that's going to give northern Kansas, uh, Kansas City, St. Joe, up toward Chillicothe, a few showers, uh, Joplin, a few clouds, Tulsa, a few clouds, and that is just about it. So we just got to deal with the showers and thunderstorms that we are going to see as we go through the rest of the day. Look at the heavy stripe of rain. We're looking at Fort Smith over three inches, nearly five inches in West Plains. Joplin, probably an inch and a half. Springfield, almost two inches of rain. And then it really cuts off once you push off toward the east or the west with the storm system. All right. Boy, I butchered that, didn't I? <laughs> it's supposed to say weak weekend wave. Act like I did not misspell that. All right, so we have another storm system next Wednesday and Thursday. That could be rain over to snow. Showers and thunderstorms again next weekend. So uh, not talking about in two days, but next weekend. We have storms on the 15th and 16th, the 23rd and the 24th. And then two waves will affect us from the 28th through the 31st. So it's going to be a pretty active month of March. All right, let's 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 keep going. April 5th, 6th, 7th. These are severe weather events. So now um, I'm mainly showing you the big severe weather events that uh, really stick out to me. April 13th and 14th, April 21st and 22nd, 
also the 25th. April is going to be pretty active. April 28th, May 1st, May 4th, May 12th, and 13th. And then we have two events, the 17th and 18th, and then the 19th through the 21st, 25th, and 27th. These all can be severe. So it, it gets uh, kind of crazy as we go through the next uh, couple months. Uh, today is March 2nd, so meteorologically it's already spring, even though we may get a little bit of snow um, in our next coming systems over the next couple weeks. But want to keep you guys updated, let you know what's going on. Of course, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And we will chat soon.